Assalamu alaikum guys Today I'll be making a game with only scripts Meaning that I cannot model, animate, make UI or anything else in studio except scripting So I'm on an empty base plate And now we're gonna start this challenge So I'll start by inserting a part Oh I can't do that Let me delete it So yeah I cannot insert anything except scripts Now there are actually three types of scripts that I can use Module scripts, server scripts, and local scripts. And probably, I don't even think I'm gonna use module scripts. So I'm just gonna insert a server script and type workspace colon wait for child base plate colon destroy. Now, if I play the game, it destroys the base plate. Trust me, this game will actually turn good. Maybe. So watch till the end. Now I'll make a wall. Okay, let's test it out. Huh? This wall will take a long time to fix. Okay, I fixed it. But here is how the script works. So first I use instance.new part to make a part obviously. Then I named it to wall. Then I just gave it a good size. And at last I did some math for the wall's position. And basically that took 10 minutes. But at least there isn't a time limit in this challenge. Now I'll just make two more walls. What a transition. Now we have a map. If you can even call it that. And I'll also quickly make a leaderboard. Easy as that. I've actually written these exact lines so many times. Also I added a int value called meter. You will see why it's called meter. Yep, it works as expected. Now what I want to make is a placing system. And I'll actually make it in a local script. But can you see where I'm going with this? Probably not. But we will get there. So now here is a time lapse of me making the placing system. Yep, that's the whole time lapse. And the placing system is already done. And honestly, it's really simple. I first take the player's mouse. Then I check if the player has clicked. Then I create a part again with instance.new. And at last, I place the part where the mouse position is. And that's really all. So now let me test it out. Let's go. First try. I'm the goat scripter. Oh wait, it doesn't work when I put it in the sky. But works only when there is a part behind it. Uh, ignore this part. Cut this out. Cut this out. So I have two options to make this work. The first option is to rewrite the placing system, which will be really hard, because I have no idea how to. The second option is just to make the base plate invisible. So the base plate will still be there, but you cannot collide with it. But then if you place a part, then it's actually on top of the invisible base plate. And that is actually super easy to do. So I of course took the second option. One of my first time that I've actually taken the smart choice. Now the placing system works and I actually did it really quickly. And I only needed to write these three lines to make the placing system work. Now I need to make the meter value work. Cause it's just stuck at zero. So with these few lines of code, the meter system should work. So basically it just checks where the player's humanoid root parts X position is. Then it rounds it to a whole number. Then it sets the meter dot value to be that rounded x position number. It's easier than it looks, but I'm just bad at explaining. And here is proof of it working. And if you haven't figured out what the game idea is, then let me explain it to you. So basically, you'll have to make a bridge to get more meters. And with meters, you can buy bigger blocks and more speed. And with that, you can get meters a lot faster. And then just repeat. Just a typical simulator. But I haven't seen this kind of idea be made yet. And remember, I'm still only using scripts. Now back to work. So now I'll make a shop where you can buy more speed and bigger blocks. And I think that it is better to make the shop a GUI instead of a physical shop. So you can access the shop at all times. But the problem is that it's really hard to make UI only from a script. 
since I can't see in real time on how it looks. So, may God help me. Alright, so my first attempt to make a shop UI. Shit. Second attempt. Hold up, I'm actually getting somewhere. Third attempt. Okay, okay, so this looks alright, but now I just have to make it look a little bit better. Finally, it looks good, right? Now I gotta make these buttons work. With the power of editing, all the things work with this long script. This took too long to make. And by the way, no AI was abused, I meant used. I did it all by myself. But look, I can upgrade for bigger blocks and place them. Now I'll have to do the same so you can also upgrade to more speed. But to think about it, what if I add rebirths? So I'll make an end, and if you reach it, then you'll get plus one rebirth and more speed instead. So the shops will only have bigger blocks. In the meantime, I'll have to model an end. But again, I'll have to do everything in a script, just like how I made the UI. So I made a simple end for now, and if you reach the end and touch this part, then you'll go back and get a rebirth, and also get more speed. Now the main aspect of the game is done, and I guess I'll just need to polish the game. So like, I'll add a text label displaying your meter, and again, I'll have to do it with a script. So I'll again just use instance.new text label. Instance.new is like a cheat code, I guess, but this alone won't work properly. I'll have to add some other lines. There. Now it should show up and look good. Yes, sir. Now I'll actually have to make it so it shows the meter value. All I have to do is add a player, colon, wait for child player stats, colon, wait for child meter, dot changed, colon, connect function, text label, dot text equals player, colon, wait for child player stats, colon, wait for child meter, dot value. Okay, nah, this is taking too long. I'm just gonna copy and paste this into a variable and change these lines. That's much better. Yay, it works. And I also did the same for the speed. So now you can see how fast you become after you rebirth. And I was also thinking about adding cosmetics with different colors and all that. But I scrapped that idea and instead focused on the map. So I started by changing the skybox by taking the texture ID from a random skybox in the toolbox and since Roblox already has a skybox I can just change its texture ID to the skybox that I found in the toolbox and I did the same process with the spawn locations decal and changed it to this and yeah that's all for the map but there is one real big thing that I forgot to do data saving now there are many things that I have to save the easy ones are like the rebirths, meters, speed, and some few others. But the hard ones to save are the player's bridges, like saving each part's position, and also saving the part's size. So I went ahead and knocked down the easy ones first. Okay, so I joined. Now if I leave... Okay, so rebirth save, meter saves, and speed saves. Now, I'm done with those. Now for the hard ones. So first, I made a folder for each player. So each time they place a part, it gets put in their folder. Then, I made a table and then took all of the parts position that are in the folder and put them into the table. Then, I made it so everything in the table would save. Then for each parts position in the table, I created a new part and gave the position to be the parts position. Okay, you know what? Screw this. It's getting too complicated. So now I made a 100% save data store that 100% works all the time. Well, from my experience. And low-key, yeah. I said before that I wanted to add cosmetics, but for now, I think this is good enough. Well, for a game only made with scripts. But if this video does well, maybe I'll turn this game into an actual real good game. 
and i would appreciate it if you like this video maybe even subscribe because it takes so long to make these videos and again actually my upload schedule is trash because i'm always busy with freaking school and other things but yeah face reveal at 10k and assalamu alaikum